Hi, this is Bill Watkins. Thanks for starting off your day in Scripture. We're coming today to the last paragraph of Mark chapter 4. It starts in verse 35. On that day, when evening had come, Jesus said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was, and other boats were with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves were breaking into the boat, so that the boat was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? And he awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great fear and said to one another, Who then is this that even the winds and the sea obey him? Jesus gave them peace. He gave their environment peace. And that's what Jesus does. If Jesus is in your boat, that boat won't sink. It doesn't mean storms of life won't come up because they will. It doesn't mean that there will never be a time that you're afraid because you probably will be afraid when things get difficult. But if Jesus is in your boat, if Jesus is in your life, things will be well in the end. All things really do work together for good. Jesus will give you peace in the storm of your sorrow. He will give you peace in the storm of your anxiety. He will give you peace in the storms of life's problems because he's the master. Who is this that even the winds and the sea obey him? The master of the wind, the master of the sea, the master of life, the master of death, the master of us. Trust him. Thanks for watching.